What up, YouTube? I guess you can call this part one of the of the uh, weather stripping video. Um, just out here doing a little. It's all these damn things. Helicopters. I call them helicopters. Fly out on off this damn tree. But um, quick video, man. Part one. Of how I do it. You know, I don't. I guess it's how I do it. <laughs> Um, new weather stripping YouTube. As you can see, same as the old. Just the glue I'm using. The 3M. They got yellow and they got black. I think yellow might be supposedly a little better. I can't remember, or it might be black. Uh, don't quote me, but it's one of the two that's supposed to stick a little better. I think it's yellow. That's why I got it. Hopefully. If it ain't, I'm going to make it do what it do. I prepped it pretty good. So, whatever the fuck I use, green, yellow, blue, it don't matter. It'll work. Came with the trim parts. Lifetime warranty. As long as y'all don't put it on wrong, they say you right here, you got a lifetime warranty. With, with, with good old trim parts. They send you the new clips. Um, comes in this big, big, big ass bag. Gonna show y'all the code numbers on here. You know, it's G Body Guys, man. We gotta, you gotta get you some new trim. It's gonna make it look good, and you just need it, man, for you don't get no leak and rest the floors. Restoration parts, GM. That's eight zero zero nine seven zero. Y'all go ahead and look that up. I go another tag on here. Premium Monte Carlo Cutlass Regal Grand Prix Roof Rail Weather Strip. Um, August 8th, 2014, I guess. This probably was May. I don't know. Or they put this tag on there. TPW16012U. Nah. Come with the new clips. And. This is a trick though I learned off Eastwood.com, fellas. Get you some, get you some um, sandpaper. This is too rough. I ain't gonna use this. This is 60, but this is for example. You go to the back of these, and you, you see how if you can look in the light. See how that's real shiny right there. You wanna. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a little duller. So you wanna sand them boys on down. You can put it on like one of those little two inch discs and just you know, hit it with the air. But I'm just gonna hand do mine real quick. Um, you wanna rough all this up. I don't know if you can see, but it's, so I took that shiny down, shiny up here, doll right here. You can, um, you know, you gotta do that on all the back, man. Get you a nice stick. Don't use too much of this shit. Y'all want the shit oozing out everywhere. So I use you a nice bead, nice thick bead, just to make sure it grip. You get you some tape, some um, regular old tape right here. So you can, when you put it together, you want to tape it around a couple of spots. Let it sit there for a day. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you want to do overkill two days. Let my shit sit there all night and day. So it'll be stuck. Then I'm going to come back the next day and peel this tape off. And it should be good to go. Now you want to get you a nice... See, you got to have your doors open too. You got to open your doors up all the way. So you can get to everything. Um, doors got to be open. Now you want to get you some tape. You got to tape the edges. You know, y'all want to be shooting that... um adhesive remover every damn where I had some shit to cover this up too my seats and shit Ugh. this right here is what you're gonna need now that was the stuff you're gonna need to put it together that tape and them pieces and shit and everything I showed you and this is what you're gonna need for your prep you need the 3M adhesive remover advanced kind they got the other kind of a red bottle i like the advanced this black bottle works works wonder want to get you some acetone 
or some wax and grease remover, whatever the hell you got, it don't matter. I got some wax and grease remover too. And you gonna need you some scrubbies. You gonna need you some um, some wire brushes, brass wire brushes, cause the silver ones is gonna fuck some um, it, 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 it scratches the channels. So y'all don't wanna be knocking all your paint and stuff off. You just wanna, bam. Got, I got some big ones of these and little ones of these. You gonna need these. These actually work good. And you gonna need you some flat blade screwdrivers. I got everything y'all gonna need, man. Gonna need you a putty knife, flat blade screwdrivers. Got two of them I've been using. That's all. Um and. Got my other brush. Need this. Need this. This was working pretty good too. This some hard ass red scuff pad. This this help you, you know once you put that adhesive remove on there, man. You got scrubbed that shit. Here go the old seal. As you can see, it's a piece of shit. Everything was gone on it. Letting moisture win. Everything going up in there. So you gonna take this back around to the other side. If I can show y'all the channels, and I can go ahead and go ahead and get up out of here and put these up here. Put them in. All right, that's all you gonna need, man. The stuff in my hand, some scrub pads. Adhesive remover. alcohol if y'all don't got some of that stuff this helps too a little bit to clean it you know clean it up if y'all don't got no wax and grease remover i had some i just brought out here just in case and i got the other raggedy ass strip one no good man youtube it's the front one no good that's why i had that little tiny hole down there that i had to repair but here you go, man. Um, I'm gonna spray a little primer on here. Hit it with a uh, some sandpaper from 60. Knock that off and hit it with some of this metal treatment. Then hit it with some primer real quick, so that don't rust up on me. And um. But yeah, them all the tools you're gonna need, man. And luckily, man, look at this big ass B, man. Damn, man, YouTube. I can kill this motherfucker. God damn it, motherfucker. Where you at? Alright, got his ass, YouTube. Damn, man, my fucking bees, man. Fuck with me all day, man. But like I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted. His ass dead wherever he at. Um, ch channels is clean, man. And I mean clean. Gotta get them real clean. Luckily, I had a good car. Somebody didn't peel them and fuck them up. Like put a lot of glue in here. So it kind of peeled right up. Got you a flat braided screwdriver behind there. And that bad boy's a pill on up for you. Then you gotta clean the channel. See how clean mine is? Gotta clean it. Then you wanna get you some scuff pad. Wanna scuff up in there for something to, to, to grab to, man. You gotta do it. Or the shit ain't gonna stick. Scuff it on up. Don't be scared. And um, scuff the back of your, your uh, whatchamacallit up, your back of your trim pieces. What's going on? You good? I'm gonna do these next. The doors, but gotta get these now. Get you some paper. When you spraying this trim stuff, you don't mess all your, 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 your plastics and your stuff up, but just go ahead and clean them out. Get it together. And put them on. You know, shout out to everybody. I know we mostly all got G-bodies, so we got to do this, fellas. 
Nigga Mr. Get It In In There. Um, shit, Twin Solid. Everybody, well, shit, even the Box Boys. All cars got these, so. If it's old school, I'm pretty sure they ain't been changed. Why not go ahead and get some new ones? All right, YouTube.